Hey there guys, it's Silver, your host, and we are back for more Pokemon Crystal. And before we go and take on the gym in Ecritique, or here in Ecritique, we are going to get a bit of additional training done. Usain, my name's Usain. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. And you are? Silver, glad to meet you. I heard rumours that Suicune is in this burned tower, so I came to look. But where exactly could it be? Ecritique's gym leader has to study what are said to be the legendary Pokemon Suicune, Entei and Reiko. Usain is here, so I've decided to investigate the tower with him. <clears throat> I forgot about this because I had a kid in. S oh, sorry, because I had Pokemon Silver when I was a kid, not Crystal. This part wasn't in it. This was additional stuff all added to Crystal. So, <laughs> we're gonna have to do the whole tower bit. Hello, Coughing. Smoochum, you will be on the XP game today. So we'll do the whole burn tower bit. And then we'll take on Morty. Bring on that confusion, Butterfree. Very nice. Okay. Right, let's do this then. Ah, the random, the uh, the the wild encounters here. They are going to frustrate me, I think. There's Silver. Let's go around, shall we? He is there. Oh, it's you. I came looking for some legendary Pokemon that they say roosts here. But there's nothing here. Nothing after all the trouble of coming to this dump. No way. It's all your fault. Hello again, friend. <coughs> well. I say silver. We are silver in this playthrough. It's instead Mr. Ace. Oh goodness, he has a Haunter. Butterfree, you can have this. Thank goodness it didn't paralyze. We're quicker than Haunter? We are indeed quicker. Quicker than Haunter. Oh god. <clears throat> Double crit and a paralysis. Hold on. Do we not have a paralyzed heal? I don't really want to use the berry. <laughs> Apparently not. One second. Just gotta answer a quick text message. Don't paralyze again, Haunter. Thank goodness for that. Right. Take the Haunter down. Excellent. Level 12 for our Smoochum. Nearly 25 for Butterfree. Magnemite. Hmm. Don't think I like you with Butterfree's part flying pairing. Um, Bayleaf? Because of this thing's steel typing, it's going to be a bit robust. Can you not poison a steel type?
Doesn't seem that you can. Oh, for goodness sake. Sonic Boom. Mildly annoying. We'll use the energy... Mm. No. Use the Super Potion. I bet Razor Leaf will not do a lot. Does more than I thought it would. Probably going to be about four hits to take this thing down. Yeah. Easy solution to confusion here. Just swap out. Oddish. <clears throat> now then. We put it to sleep. We can. We couldn't poison it, but we put it to sleep. Absorb probably isn't going to do a lot here, is it? I don't know about Magnemite's special defense. Alright. Good, it missed. And it's down. Probably gonna send out Quillava next, isn't it? Right. Yep. Butterfree. Can we put it to sleep? No. This is going to be very damaging. We'll take a gamble. Yes. All right. Get a super potion in quickly. No, actually. Um. <clears throat> actually, no, we're going to need to do that. But the problem is our accuracy is lowered. Hmm. Because of our severe typing disadvantage, we really do need to be careful here. How much will that do to Bailey, given that it's defensive? 22. Heal up. That's good. Hmm. Right. Good. Poison will whittle it down a bit. We can keep using synthesis here to wear it down. Just try and outlast it as best we can. I'm going to use Bailey for something of an improvised tank here. While the poison whittles the Quillava down. Is it a good strategy? No. Is it a functional strategy? Yes. That relies on the, our enemy not getting much in the way of critical hits. We'll assist the damage by throwing a razor leaf out, but it probably won't do a great deal. No. No critical hits, please. Go 
Good thing is, because it's daytime, Synthesis is recovering half of our health. At night, I think it recovers about, what, a fifth? Alright. Almost outlasted it. And Quilava's down. Level 25. And just a Zubat last. Hmm. You know what? Boats are free. <laughs> okay. Confusion. I was expecting it to go down. Ugh. Why? Why is this proving uh, so irritating? Oh no, no, wait. It's gonna have leech life, which is part bug. Meaning using queen here is probably gonna not be a very good idea. We'll try and hit a confusion. And it's over. Hmm. This is why I hate battling wimps. There's no challenge in it. Ugh, whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. Hmm. What are you doing falling into a hole? Some genius you are. Serves you right. This dude has attitude problems, I think. Suicune always had the best cry for me out of all the legendary dogs. Like, all of them. <coughs> I dug a hole here too. I was shocked. Suicune raced by like a blur, right in front of my eyes. For ten years I chased Suicune, and I finally got to see it. I'm all choked up. Silver, I owe this all to you. Thank you. I heard that the legendary Pokemon of Ecritique test chosen humans by, al by allowing them to get close. I'm going to track Suicune. Silver, let's meet again. Farewell. <coughs> Right, boulder blocking the way. And a Zubat. Been a frustration. Okay, we're at least faster than a Zubat. That's worth something. Alright. There are no trainers in here? I thought there were. <coughs> Apparently not. Unless I misremembered. Will that train us in here in Soul Silver? Right, yeah, there's nothing to stick around for. I mean, the Raticate will be reasonable experience. Let's go for it. Start absorbing, Oddish. Didn't do as much as I would have liked. It's tail whipping. I'm glad that didn't hit, it would have hurt. It would have really hurt. 
I mean, the quick attack did enough. Okay. Now then. Looks like we have a gym to face. Just a retarder. I wonder. Can our Smoochum do this on her own? I'm not hopeful. Really not hopeful. Okay, yeah, no. Not ready yet. And bring on the confusion. That was a large amount of confusion damage as well. Alright. Fair is fair. Well, um... Oh, no, wait. You need a rock smash to get that open. Fair is fair. We will go and challenge Morty's gym. Here we go. Heal up and go and take the gym challenge. Hmm. Okay. Heal on up. We'd have been able to do some <coughs> good damage in this gym if our uh, Smoochum had confusion. Sadly, it doesn't. And I've also learned it doesn't pick it up until level 20-something. Because I had look on Pokemon database. Okay. Can you inflict any damage on our Pokemon? <clears throat> well, my Butterfree has itself confusion. So given all of these ghastly apart poison, our Butterfree is going to have a field day in here. This is going to get annoying. Very annoying, very quickly. We have to switch out now. Okay. Switch out to Bear Leaf. We'll see how much a Razor Leaf does. I'm not expecting a lot, though. More than half. Oh, for goodness sake. Lick never has that kind of accuracy or success rate when I'm using it. Yeah, we're going to have to buy a few more paralyzed heals before we carry this gym on, aren't we? But that'll take it out. I'm seeing this strategy here. The strategy being paralyze with lick and then curse. I mean, Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar are three of my favorite Pokemon, so I'm very happy to be in this gym. Because, um... Oh my god. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, two of my favorite Pokemon lines of all time. Abracadabra Alakazam, Ghastly Haunter Gengar. This is going to be long and frustrating, I think. Okay. 
Yeah, you do want to learn Powder Snow. Sweet Kiss is good. Dizzy Punch will keep. Lick will need for the ghosts in here. <coughs> awesome. Yep. I have a plan of action. We're going to... Go back and get some more Paralyze Heals. And then there's a pair of twins near Ecritique. We're going to have Smooch and fight those before we carry on the gym battle. Because <clears throat> it'll be good experience. Can't paralyze me again, I'm already paralyzed. Oh, come on. It'll be here all day if it wants to try and defeat us with Lick. Come on. So, yes, do that. Who'd have thought one battle because of our team's setup would have taken this long? Right, it's taken itself out. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just finish this. I'm getting a bit conscious of how long this single fight is taking. Here we go. Confuse it out of existence. Okay, now before we carry on, Gonna buy some more paralysis heals. Ah, well done. And go and take on those twins. Okay. Because <coughs> these um ghost Pokemon are just gonna try and give us a damn good licking. Which is um <laughs> not good. As comedic as comedically as I attempted to phrase that, you know, it's not good. It's not good. No, wrong thing. Buy a few more super potions. I'm gonna need a few more of these. Okay. Right. And now that we have powder snow, a bit of training for our smoochum. 262. That's not too bad. Good thing is Smoochum has decent special attack. Just a Pidgey. But it is part flying. Let's see how well Smoochum can manage. That's good. Oh my god. One hit with a critical gust. Now I'm just feeling bad. Ugh. Alright, fine. Level 13 Pidgey. Managed to one hit us with a critical gust. I'm um, mildly upset by that, I'm not gonna lie. It's just not worth it for 102 experience. I mean, do we have a revive? Nope, which means I'm now gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. Ugh, annoying, annoying, very annoying.
Look the other way, please, friend. There we go. The spinning train is everyone's favourites. Growlithe? No. No, no, no. Okay. <clears throat> Trying to get this Smoochum trained is going to be a fun experience. It's not like some of the, um... The, uh, the fan games I've played where... You know, they give the starting Pokemon some pretty decent moves. That is not the case. Oh god. Jack Schoolboy, hello. Did I know that if an opponent uses Dig, Magnitude becomes more powerful? I actually didn't know that, so I'm not going to complain too much. Not going to complain too much. Alright. Let's try this again. Here we go. Anne. Anne and I are in this together. Hey, if that was uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, that'd be a double bow. <clears throat> Anne and Anne sent out Jigglypuff. I thought these two had bug Pokemon. I'm, um, I am officially mistaken. Oh, well. Bearleaf? Right. Raise a leaf. Fire away. Thank goodness that didn't work. We don't know how. Oh my god. Ugh. <clears throat> I I feel like this playthrough is is immensely troubled. Put it that way. Good. Didn't work. We're probably going to be quicker than Jigglypuff here. Can we knock it out? Yes, we can. What's next? Clefairy. We'll try. Right, Queen. You're going to have to do things on your own. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, trying to get you leveled is going to be fun all the way, isn't it? Fun all the way. Bring on the razor leaf. The Clefairy growls at us. Awesome. <clears throat> Perfect. And... We'll heal up our Smoochum. Use those last two basic potions that we bought. Alright. Nearly level 14. Nearly. Okay. Can we try and just get one battle in the bag to get it up one more level? And then I'm just going to take Butterfree to work on this gym and have it sweep through things with confusion. Powder Snow. What is it with these critical hit gusts? I'm I'm getting frustrated. <clears throat> I feel like all the RNG in the world is against us here. Like fundamentally against us. I think the next thing we do after defeating this gym and getting Surf 
It's going to Lake of Rage and getting the XP share. That is the first thing we are doing. In fact, you know what? No more of this switcheroo business. Trying to claw together experience from the odd battle here and the odd battle there. Butterfree. Go through, please. Stumped by our invisible floor. Defeat me and I, if you want a hint. Butterfree is just going to sweep through here. This one has two haunters, I think. Right. Bring on the confusion. Mean luck. Not a problem. And the Haunter is down. Another one coming. Mean luck again? Why? Oh well. It's fine. Twenty six. Well, what? Next trainer. I spent the spring with my Pokemon, then summer, fall, and winter. Then spring came again. We have lived together for a long time. All right, Sage Jeffrey. Another haunter. Use the confusion. Keep using mean luck. Wins and losses, I experienced both. No, nope. sorry. No. Nope. Damn it, hold on. There we go. I shall win. Apparently she shall win. We'll soon see, won't we? Martha sent out Ghastly. And I think as for Morty, doesn't he have a ghastly two haunters and a Gengar? I think that's what he has. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on it. Yep, there's another haunter for another haunter from this. Well, a haunter from this trainer. Another haunter from the gym. We seem to be given ghastlies and haunters on um on cue here. Why didn't they put Mistrebus in this gym? Like they added Mistrebus as a fourth ghost Pokemon to this game. Why didn't they add it into the gym? Seems silly to at least or or to not at least have one of the trainers using it. Alright. And this one should go down now. 27. I, I, I lost. You did indeed. Right. Butterfree, what are your stats looking like? 57 special attack. When we get Queen up a few more levels, she's going to be dangerous. For now, though. Going to just quickly heal our... PP. 
Because I don't want to use an ether. <coughs> okay. Right. Our Pokemon are fully healed. Beautiful. Here we go. Let's see what Morty can do. Perfect. Good of you to come. Or good of you to have come. Here in Ecritique, Pokemon have been re revered. It's said that a rainbow colored Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I could see a future in which I meet the Pokemon of Rainbow Colors. You're going to help me reach that level. Right. <coughs> Morty's opener shouldn't be too much of a problem. Level 21 Ghastly. Butterfree, you are up. Good start. We have a Haunter coming out. These are probably going to be two hits. Yeah. Okay, has Nightshade. Be mindful of that. The Gengar's here. That's probably going to outspeed Butterfree. Yeah, this is our largest tangible threat. Yeah, called that. Just under half. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Bring Butterfree back in in a second. Yeah. Oddish? Right. Now, we'll bring Butterfree back in. I know for a fact this Gengar wants to use Hypnosis and Dream Eater. Right, here we go. Knock it down with Confusion. One more hit after this should do it. And it's confused. Right, it's fast asleep. Butterfree bringing home the win here. Right. Haunter. Even with the moves of our other Pokemon being not overly effective, we've got this. We have this under control. Excellent. Ooh, so close to level 28. I'm not good enough yet. Alright, this badge is yours. Fog badge. Hey. Having the fog badge. By having the fog badge, Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you. Also, Pokemon that knows Surf will be able to use that move anytime. We need to have this too. TM30, that is Shadow Ball, my friends. Right. 
Sadly, all ghost moves are physical in this game. So, you know, you'll be hard pressed to find um, a Pokemon given the typical stat distributions of most ghost and psychic types that are actually going to be able to use it overly effectively. But yes, there we have it. A job well done. The, um, the Ecritic Gym is dealt with. So, we can definitely call that a success, can't we? Yes, a raging success. Alrighty. Let's quickly head across the sea to the Lake of Rage and pick up the XP share before we wind down, shall we? That sounds like a plan. We'll go and get that now. Alright. Across the sea we go. We are surfing. And uh, we've just encountered something. Something very watery, probably. Tis a Goldeen. <coughs> Hello, Goldeen. Meet Oddish. Oddish? Feel free to absorb. Didn't finish it off? No, I was expecting a bit more than that. Shame. Alright. Then once we have the XP share, we can give it to our Smoochum. Give it to the Queen. And she'll be able to pick up some nice experience as we cross the sea to go to Cyanwood. What's this? A super potion. Always welcome. Okay. I'm looking forward to the, um... To the segments where we're in the water. Because finally, after... Countless parts have been at a, at a disadvantage against everybody from trainers to gyms and gym leaders. We are finally going to have an edge here. Finally, I say. Only people headed up to the Lake of Rage have been through here lately. Fine by me. We'll head on up. Gonna dodge all the trainer battles as best we can. Gonna come back and do those later after Cyanwood. Oh look, a ferret. Hello, ferret. Can't escape. It's quicker than us. There we go. Now this guy is a rapidly spinning trainer, so um, I don't reckon avoiding him is going to be all that easy. We'll use Butterfree though, because I think this guy has a Nido King. Okay? Oh no, we dodged him. We actually dodged him. No avoiding this one. Yeah, sadly not. No avoiding this one. Alright. Oh no, we can. Okay. The Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. I imagine it is. Alright. That red Gyarados is going to hit like a truck. We've got to try and capture it. You know what? I feel like we needed more balls. We probably did need more. Right. Let's dodge around these trainers. Definitely gonna need more. Oh god, I forgot about this bit. Hold it there, kiddo. The toll is a thousand to go through, thank you very much. Oh dear. Forgot about them. Forgot about them. It's alright. They're not too bad. A thousand each way. While visiting Mahogany Town, try a rare candy bar. Naturally, we can't go all the way because the rare candy bar salesman blocks us. Hey, kid. 
If you're new in Mahogany Town... Oh, sorry. You're new in Mahogany Town, I think you just said. Since you're new, you should try a yummy rare candy bar. For just 300, want one? Oh, fine then. I'm okay. Welcome, how may I help you? Oh, for God's sake. Regular Pokeballs. This is going to be an act of misery, I'm sure. The experiment worked like a charm. Magikarp are just worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. Okay. We'll head on through. And our biggest challenge awaits. Capturing this red Gyarados. I'm not sure if we have the... Um... Oh god. That was an accident. I love Pokemon. That's where I started and where I'll keep on collecting Pokemon. I nudged the up button by accident. Oh dear. Okay. That's not too bad. Just a slow bro. A bit tanky, but we have an army of grass type moves. Well, no. By army, we have Razor Leaf and Absorb. They'll be enough. If they don't miss. If they don't miss. Excellent. <clears throat> Job done. Gust. A 40 power physical flying move on our Butterfree? No. I think we'll pass. 40 power physical flying move. Even with, um, Stab. It's gonna do very little. Very little. Alright. Moment of truth. Right. We'll send in Bailey f first. Gotta capture this thing. Gotta capture it for the rainbow scale to trade for the XP share. Right. I forgot with it's been part flying, it's um very resistant. Quick claw coming to our advantage there. Oh dear. This may be a problem. Moves first. And Bayleaf's gone. Yep, we need that drag we need that freaking dragon scale. <laughs> Okay. Can we put it to sleep? We can. Alright. Absorb it. Gonna do very little. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is gonna be tricky. It will wake up next turn, probably, then. Oh, it's thrashing. Okay, we have problems. Um... Right, we'll try and throw a ball at it. Not even close. It's gonna take out our entire team at this rate. There we go. Okay. Got to get it down to red. Now, we might manage this. It's asleep. It's on red health. We have a low ball. Oh, come on. Come on, Gyarados. Don't be difficult. Don't be difficult. Got it. We have it. Gyarados' data was newly added to the Pokedex. Atrocious. It appears whenever there is world conflict, burning down any place it travels through. We have the red scale. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you have to capture this thing, not knock it out to get the red scale, right? This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the Magikarp have been forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're Silver. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Silver. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, would you help me investigate? Oh, well. Well, if you change your mind, please help me. I'll come back to this later. Lake of Rage is a crater made by Rampage in Gyarados. The crater filled with rainwater and the lake was formed. That's a story passed on from my grandpa's great-grandpa. It used to be that you could catch lively magic up there, but I don't understand what's happening. Alright. Fair enough. So we are going to head back now. We are going to head on back. Max Ether. <clears throat> oh dear. That was not what I wanted. Oh dear. He has three. Okay, we have a sand true. But to free if you could just sweep through these. Get rid of the sand true. Awesome. What's next? Sand slash. This will be a bit bulkier. I 
And a Zubat. Losing isn't fun at all. No. I don't imagine it is. Oh god, now Liz. Ignoring you. Ignoring you and your million calls. Okay, so we're gonna heal up. Then we're gonna wind down for this part. And I'm probably going to move us back to Olivine while we are off screen. And then after that, we are going to cross the sea. Well, no. I'm also going to go and get us the XP share off screen. And then move us over to Olivine. And then once we have that sorted out. We are going to cross the sea to Cyanwood. In our next part. Put the red Gyarados away. It can stay there. Alright. So this has been a fun and eventful part. We've had a lot go on. Beaten Morty's gym, gotten surf, and picked up the scale that we need. So you already know the plan for the next part. Across to Cyanwood for Chuck's gym. But for now, this is where we're going to leave it. A huge thank you to all of you who stopped in. Do feel free to leave a like or comment, or maybe even subscribe if you're enjoying this slightly chaotic but nonetheless fun Pokemon playthrough. An extra special thank you to our first patron at the time of recording this video, Mr. Jonathan. It's very much appreciated. And if any of you would like to support the channel, you can do so by becoming a silver patron for just £2.50 a month or $3, the same price as a small cup of coffee or a bus ticket. Not at all essential, but very much appreciated. And the links to that are in the video description in the channel's about section. And I will see you awesome people for some more Pokemon very soon. So you've all been super awesome. Thank you very much for stopping in. And I'll see you in the next one. So guys, I've been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon or night. And I'll see you again very soon. Take care, guys.